Hi, good afternoon everyone and welcome to Cooking Uncovered again. It's Miriam and I'm making another chocolate chip cookie dough because I have a friend, Maggie, who can't eat any other type of peanuts or nuts except for hazelnuts. And so I thought this would be a perfect medium to add hazelnuts. And believe me, it is. These are, again, so delicious. So I'm going to make a base and then from that base, we can make any kind of cookie we want. We can make chocolate chip, we can make raisin, we can make um, cranberry, we can put um, peanut butter bars in, or we can put chocolate bars in, or score bars, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna make the base. But this is definitely a winner. And I'm gonna start with just uh, one cup of hazelnuts that my husband has already taken. He's already toasted them. So they're toasted hazelnuts, and I don't really care if the, if the outer skin is on, it doesn't really matter. To that I'm going to add half a cup of half a cup of flour, because the recipe takes one cup of flour. So to this I'm just going to add the half a cup, because to the rest of the batch I'm going to add a half a cup of whole wheat flour, as we were talking about the other day with the other recipe. So one cup of hazelnuts and one cup, half a cup of flour, and this is going to be noisy, sorry. And I'm just going to it up. Now there's some chunks in there and there's it's gone to kind of a powder so that's perfect all right so now over here I have my mixer and in in this bowl is already one quarter pound of softened butter to that I'm going to add my sugars so to that I need my half a cup of white sugar I have my uh, canisters on the these are my canisters. I've got three of these on, on the counter. I've got white flour, whole wheat flour, and, and my white sugar. So it's very convenient. And they have these seal, these seal lids, that, so they seal, so nothing can get in, which is kind of nice. So half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of golden yellow sugar, packed. To that, I'm going to add the vanilla. Where's my vanilla? Sorry, gotta go get it. Uh, and of course, I'm using. I'm using that fabulous vanilla that uh, one of my students, Ronnie, brought me back from Mexico, so it's, it's luscious. All right, so I'm just going to cream the sugar and the butter. To that, I'm adding one egg that I've already cracked open, and we're just going to cream that. That's going to marry all the stuff together. To that, we want to add half a cup of coconut, which I've got right here. And again, the type of coconut you use, it's up to you. It's up to you. You can even toast the coconut because that makes everything taste really, really good. All right. To that, we're going to add the coconut. Now I add my other half a cup of flour, which is now, which is my whole wheat flour. Half a cup of whole wheat flour. And then I'm going to add baking soda. One teaspoon of baking soda only. That goes in. Quarter teaspoon of salt, which I have to pour over a bowl. Uh, quarter teaspoon of salt. There we go. Salt everywhere. Never mind. Quarter teaspoon of, of salt. And then uh, my last batch I added cinnamon. I'm not adding it to this one because it doesn't need it. So we've got the sugars, the butter, the egg, the vanilla. Perfect. Then I've added coconut and uh, my whole wheat flour and my oats. You've got to add oats. So one cup of oats. Where's my... Oh, there it is. All right, so this is the base to, the, to a chocolate chip oatmeal cookie recipe. This is your base, so that's half a cup and one cup. All right, now to that, we want to add the hazelnuts and flour, the half a cup of flour, which goes right into the, the mix as well. So I'll just pull that in with my little measuring spoon. And notice, it really doesn't take a lot of time to get this together because it's a very quick recipe. All right, so we mix that into the batter. Now, choose what you want to do from here. Of course, if you want to leave out the hazelnuts, leave them out. If you want to add almonds, add, use almonds instead of hazelnuts. I just am using the hazelnuts because they are so delicious when they're toasted. All right, so now we've got our dough, and our dough ends up looking like this. It's nice and well formed. Okay, perfect. So now what are we going to add? 
That's what we ask ourselves. Well, we could add so many things. I'm going to add to this a half a cup of just uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips, so plain old chocolate chips. And I'm going to add um, some... Oh, we've got a cat fight going on over there. Just try to ignore the hissing and the spitting. And I'm also going to add some see some extra dark chocolate about I'm going to add about one two three maybe um, I don't know four or five of these uh, little squares and that would be amazing so in they go about five squares of, of dark chocolate and really like I could add raisins I could add cranberries I could add, just give me a second, I've got to separate the cats. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Sorry, I digress. The cats are fighting. <laughs> cats can't even get along. How can we get along? I don't, anyway, okay, so chocolate chips into the cookie batter. Now, I mix them all up, and it's perfect. So hazelnut chocolate chips with an extra dark Oh, it's just it's luscious. All right, now, you have choices here. We talked about this the other day. You can either scoop these, and if you scoop them, I use the uh, one, one ounce scoop because they're a nice size. If you scoop them, there's four dozen. But we can also roll them in parchment. Remember I said the other day on my other recipe, you roll them, they're very easy to transport. Like, like let's say you're taking them to your cousins or whatever, some distance away. They stay frozen very well, and they transport very well, and all you do is slice them into pieces and bake them exactly as they are. You don't touch them, because actually they end up round. So what I've got here is the batch, the batch that I did this morning, I froze. So now these are all IQF, and what I'll do is I'm gonna pop these in the freezer. So two ways, if you've got lots of freezer space, scoop them, and then freeze them IQF like this. They're perfect, individually quick frozen. So, and then you just take them out and you bake, bake them as you choose. When you bake them, this is the way they turn out. And I'll tell you, they are absolutely luscious. And the trick is, somebody did this, came over and said, can I just pop these in the microwave for 10 seconds? So when you're serving cookies, just pop them in the microwave for 10 seconds first, and you've got everybody. So look at those lovely... The hazelnuts and the chocolate chips, it looks great, huh? So there is another winning cookie recipe, and it's amazing. Hazelnuts, chocolate chips, and anything else you want to add. Raisins, cranberries, um, you could even add pine nuts to these. It would be absolutely amazing. So thanks for joining me on Cooking on Covered. And um, I'm just hoping the cats haven't killed themselves outside. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to go to my blog, cookinguncovered.blogspot dot com for my recipe and just press print and it'll be easy for you thank you for joining me and say hi to everybody uh, a lady in ohio was joining me the other day and people on the island and my friends up in 100 mile uh mj and maggie and um um gee there's so many people and i just want to thank you for joining me so talk to you later bye bye